and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Everybody, how are you? I'm Alex Bennett, and this is the Ramble. See what just happened there? That's just another little problem that I have. You see, it's supposed to actually fade like this, but when I push this button, it only just goes back and forth between the two. And if I reset that up, let me go reset that up here, because I'll change the hotkey. And uh, oh, that, uh, here I don't want a quick transition cut. Okay, so I'll clear that quick transition fade. And then I say that that's supposed to be the fade. Okay, now does it work? There we go. See, it works. But, but you see, here's the problem. None of this shit works. That's the problem. Uh, I am at my uh, wit's end. Okay, let me turn up my volume here so that you can hear me. I am at my wit's end uh, uh, with all of what's been going on. I almost didn't do a show tonight. And this one may be short because I am so exhausted and so fried from everything. And let me, uh, let me, you've been seeing this breakdown coming for quite a while. Uh, I've been doing this for, what, five years, something like that? This is of April, it's five years doing GabNet. And quite frankly, uh, it's going nowhere. You know, and I don't mind that it's going nowhere. I mind that I want to do a show at night and get together with people and just talk and have something to do in my later years of life. And if I could just do that, if I could push a button and all of a sudden you could see me all the way across the country and all around the world and uh, we could just do a show and it was easy, then it would be terrific. But that's not the case. It's not that easy a deal. Uh, running GabNet has been a, con it's like a constant mistress uh, that keeps nagging away at you. And, you know, you, you do these things and, and, and you just, you just want to do it. You know, you just want to do a show. And you can't just do a show. Now, I'll give you an example. of some, uh, One of the things that went wrong today okay, so far uh, it has been a, not a really eventful day, but it's certainly been a pain in the ass day, okay? Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, I do this uh, movie review thing with Michael Snyder that nobody listens to. Uh, and so he calls me, and then we do this thing, and he rambles on about movies, and, and then uh, I put it up, and I have to post it, and there's a whole bunch of work that goes behind that. I have to do that. Damien doesn't do it. Jack doesn't do it. Uh, uh, nobody else does it. I do it, Okay. Uh, and I, I don't mind it if it all goes easily. But I call him today, and we start uh, doing our thing, and I say, now, Michael, how's everything in Hollywood? And there's nothing. I hear nothing on the other side. So I have to hang up on him, and I call him again, and he says, hi. He says, I don't know what happened. And I said, okay. So we started again. And I say, hey, Michael, what's happening with the movies? Same thing again. All of a sudden, silence. And he's saying, it's not my fault. I said, uh, uh, I hate to say this, but yes, it is. <laughs> you know, it is your fault. Um, because it's your phone that's not working right. He says, well, I'll, I'll go to, uh, let's try it one more time. Okay, and we tried it one more time, and of course, same thing happened. So he said, well, I'll go over to my computer. He was using his phone. I mean, to begin with, for years, I've been telling him, get yourself a little headset with a microphone so that you'll sound good on the air. And, uh, we, we, you know, you don't have to sound like you're on a phone. And he never has done that. So he says, I'll, I'll use the computer. I'll go use the computer. I said, okay, call me back. He calls me back. We do it. Everything works fine. Oh, it's not his phone? Yeah, bullshit, you know. He had to use an, his, his, his Ethernet to get to me. Yeah, and then that, was, uh, that was not like this in and out with the phone, so... That, that, was, that was just one part of it, okay, you know. 
uh, there are various things that go on during the day that don't work and I have to fix them or whatever. But the latest thing has been I bought uh, on e eBay, I bought what we call a trash can. It's a Mac, it's a Mac Pro, and it's really powerful. And it's capable of doing all the things I need to do with this program to get the video out there, all right? Uh, and uh, the other day, it, uh, about a week ago, it blew. Uh, it did blow badly, too. It, it, you know, Picture-wise, it went crazy. All right. So I haul it down to the Apple store, and they say, okay, we'll, uh, we'll work on it here. Uh, it looks like it's probably a display board. I said, okay, good. You know, simple problem. Uh, how much will that cost? They said, well, if we have to replace both of them, it'll cost you around $600, but you may only have to replace one, and that'll cost only $300, and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. And okay, good. So I, I wait, and I wait, and I wait. It's a week later. And finally, I get, uh, I, 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 I call them, and I say, where, what's happening? They say, oh, it'll be ready on Saturday. So uh, then they write me a note saying, call us, we're having problems. Uh, and they say, we're having problems. And uh, I call them, and they say, well, the problem is that we thought it was going to be the A board, but it turns out it's not the A board, so it's probably the B board. Now, there are two display boards in this machine. There's an A board and there's a B board. And they couldn't order both the A and B because then if one of them worked and the other one didn't, they'd be stuck with a board like this for a machine that not very many people have. I mean, you know. So, uh, and I would have been willing to just pay for it. Just get both of them. I just want this thing back. So they, they, this woman tells me that, well, we're not going to be able to, uh, we, we, we have to get permission to get the other board. And I said, well, would they refuse permission? And she said, no, probably not, you know. But we have to get the okay. And then we have to order the board, and the board will take three days to get here. And then they'll immediately put it on priority. So that, that's another week. And I'm thinking to myself, are they even going to be able to fix this motherfucker? I'm already making alternative plans uh, where how I can get the money to buy another one, okay? Because I like that trash can. And I looked on eBay today, and actually I could have gotten a better deal all the way around. Same, same exact specifications, $300 cheaper, and it was a, a factory refurbished. Okay, but anyway, I digress. So now I'm stuck with not having that machine and having to still do the show with this machine, the one that if I turn this microphone up, you can actually hear. You hear that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and 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 I you know I don't mind this machine. It's been a great machine. It served me well. But the problem with it is it doesn't have the power that other one does. And in doing the new Skype thing, where I've got to put pictures all over the place and put people in in little frames and stuff like that, I need a powerful machine because what happens when you don't have a powerful machine? You will see a little bit later in this program if I go long enough and I take on enough people. The more people that join the panel and are using Skype, which, by the way, the new Skype is just power intensive, okay? It's CPU intensive. And the more people that get on there, the more people I have to put on the air, all of a sudden I go out of sync. Now, they don't, but I do. And I go out of sync, and I, you know, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, and, and so I, I, all of a sudden I'm sitting here and I'm doing the program and I'm watching with everybody that calls. I, I go more and more out of sync. I'm a little out of sync. Eh, I don't know if I'm really out of sync right now. Am I? No, I guess not. So I get this, this feeling that what if they don't fix this fucking thing? You know, I always look at the worst case scenario. I never look at the best case scenario. Hey, they'll get this other board. They'll pop it in. All will be happy. It'll cost me uh, about 300 bucks and change out the door, plug it in, be able to do all my shows in about a week. But instead, I've got to work with this thing doing the show, and I don't know if I want to continue doing that. I don't know if I want to do, it, uh, do any more shows after tonight until I get my old machine fixed or I get another one in here to replace it. 
because I, uh, I, I, you know, but it isn't just that. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you know, so I got the thing with, with Michael, and then I got the thing with Apple, who, you know, the geniuses, right? They can't, they can't figure out which board isn't working until they get the other board and put it, you know, right? There was no way to test it and, and order the right board. Well, we'll try the A first, and if the A doesn't work, we'll get the B. But then we have to get approval to get the B. But I think they had to get approval to get the A as well. But anyway. Uh, so I, I had those two things. Now, this is a niggling one. The other day, I, what I do is when I cook, I like to use these little spray bottles that I have oil in and I have vinegar in. And when I'm doing, like, hamburgers, I'll spray some oil on the hamburger and then a little uh, balsamic vinaigrette from, the spray, from that sprayer. And then uh, whatever. Well, one of these sprayers broke the other day. And they're cheap. I mean, you know, we're not talking... Uh, uh, this is going to break the old man's budget, right? In fact, it's anything but breaking the budget. So I ordered two more sprayers, all right, from Amazon at a cost of $15. Uh, and uh, it doesn't get here. It says, your, your, your stuff has been delivered. You know, my echo uh, tells me that. Um, and, uh, I just, you know, I just, um, it, it, it wasn't here. And then it says, uh, signed for by FP. Who the fuck is FP? You know? So uh, apparently it's somebody in my building that accepted it and then decided they wanted to keep it for themselves or that maybe they ordered it and they didn't remember whether they ordered it or not anyway. I don't get it. So what do you got to do? You got to call. You got to call Amazon and complain. So I call Amazon and complain, and they put me on hold for like ten minutes while they're trying to get a hold of UPS to find out where these two little bottles, total cost fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents, are. And all I want them to do is to give me my money back or to send me, you know, usually they resend you the the item. Uh, but they said, no, well, do you want us to put it on your card or do you want to put it as credit on your Amazon account? I said, put it on my, back on my card, you know. They said, and then you can reorder it. Well, in the old days, you didn't reorder it. They just sent it to you. Hey, you didn't get it? Well, we make good on that. But, you know, Jeff Bezos has an ex-wife to pay. So anyway, so I had that happen today. And it was just like that kind of almost oddly enough was the thing that threw me over the edge because I said, I'm spending 10 minutes here while I'm on hold for a lousy $15.99 item that it's their responsibility to make good on. Uh, and it, so it's, it's things like that. Everything that happens now is a big fucking production. And I just don't know if I can take it anymore. I mean, you know. Uh, I need some relief here at GabNet. I don't know who could do it or who wants to do it or whatever, but I'm tired of putting out fires. The other day, Wednesday, okay, um, I get a call from the franchise MC, Mark, and uh, not a call, but a note. And he says, I can't do the show tonight because my, my uh, internet is down. Okay, can't do his show. So uh, I already posted his show so that all I had to do was, you know, Put it, put it on the on the on the internet. Uh, so I had to go back and undo it. You know that was that. And then uh, later that night, uh, I uh, get a note from Jack Bishop, and he says I can't go on because my computer just went on the went on the fritz. It died on me. So that's two shows out of the four that were supposed to be on that night that don't get on that night, and I've got to go in and unpost his show. Which takes, you know, I wish I could say it was a simple process, but it isn't. And it's, it, on top of that, it's, I, I've talked about it before, it's repetitive work. And so, therefore, it's the repetition of that work that kind of gets to you after a while, you know. And, uh, oh, gee, only 16 people are watching this? Oh, I don't blame you. You know, fuck all y'all. Uh, really? I thought, I thought at least... There was some, something interesting about this, but, man, eh, fuck you. See, that's another reason. Why, why should I be doing this? Why? So 16 people can fucking, oh, it's up to 17, 19. It's gone up to 19. So I can go up to 19 people? Come on, you know, I've got better things to do with my life. No, I don't, actually. That's the problem. 
That's why I wish this were more fun. I wish there were more people watching it. I wish that uh, uh, I was getting some uh, pr publicity out of it, you know. Uh, and, and this could be a great project. I think I pretty much invented a great talk format. Um, but apparently the rest of the world isn't catching up with me. Uh, and so uh, I just don't know how much longer I can keep doing this, to be honest with you. Uh, because it is just, it's gotten to the point now where I think it's affecting my health. Uh, I, I, feel, I feel tired every day. Now, I do have one problem. And the problem is this. Let me show you this. That's the problem. Oh, what is that, Alex? Is that an Oxycontin? Oh, what is that? It, 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 it really fucks you up, huh? What is, what is it? It's amoxicillin. It's an antibiotic. And I've been taking it. When they pulled the tooth, before they pulled the tooth, it was infected. And my dentist gave me a 10-day supply of amoxicillin to take to kill the infection. And I've got two more days on it. And it, it, I don't know how I'm going to get through the two days because I don't take this till I want to go to sleep at night. And I take it around noon during the day. So I've got the rest of the day before the show goes on the air uh, to, uh, to, to have it uh, uh, kind of get, uh, get out of my system because it makes me loopy. It makes me dizzy, and, and it can cause that, and it makes me uh, clumsy. Those are the two side effects that I read that you can get, and that, uh, sure enough, that's what's been happening with me. So, you know, I, I just, I, I uh, you know, as I say, it's one thing after another. It's one crisis I have to put out. The other day I had a, a machine over here that is our server, and I did something or whatever, and all the folders on the top of the desktop disappeared, and I couldn't figure out how to get them back. The only way I could get them back was by putting a new machine in there, and, uh, and, and it had all those things already on it because it was a duplicate of that machine. And... Uh, you know, then I went, took the other machine, and I reformatted it using uh, a, um, um, a backup drive, and it, I, we got all the folders back on top. But that took me three, four hours to take care of, you know. So it's always, it's one thing after another, and I am just so exhausted and so tired that I would just like to be able to take some time off, you know, and not do this. Uh, I want to be able to miss it. Okay, and, and that's my problem. And yet I can't bring myself to do it because I feel a responsibility towards my audience to keep doing it, even if there are just 18 fucking people watching now. You know, I really wish that would go up to like 100. That would be nice, but never happens. Never happens. Tell your friends. You know, uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, you've only been live for two minutes. What do you mean I've only been live for two minutes? What do you mean I've been live for the... What, what is that? From American Patriot. I left, waited a few, and came back. And Billy Bob Jackson said, you've only been live for two minutes. And that was a 1019. Uh, as long as you do the show, Alex, you won't die. That's why you do it, says Foreman Colossus. You might be right, you know. Uh, but maybe it's time to die, you know. I mean, uh, today I was feeling, after this whole thing with, with, the, with the computer not going to be ready, and me having to put up with this one to do the show, uh, I was so depressed that I felt that the best way to not feel the anguish I was feeling was to, like, kill myself. I really, it's the first time I've ever ha <clears throat> had a suicidal thought. Uh, I've never had a suicidal thought before because uh, I'm afraid of dying, and so uh, I'm too cowardly to be able to commit suicide. And yet, the, the, today, I felt that my mind was in such a way that the only relief I could get from it was be by blowing my brains out, all right? So if you hear one day that I'm no longer here because I took my life, you'll know why. And you can attribute my death to GabNet, all right? And to, well, there are now 22 people watching. Uh, 
I dedicate my suicide to all the 22 people who are watching right now. Anyway, uh, I don't know how much I can do tonight, to be honest with you. Uh, I wanted to come on because uh, I feel I need to talk to you and tell you what's going on. Uh, I also uh, feel that it's somewhat of a catharsis for me to do it, okay? So, uh, you know, it, please allow me to bellyache and use this as a catharsis. Uh, it says, a checklist would make things easier. Fuck you, more faves. Uh, not more faves, Billy, Bob, Jim, Joe, Jackson, or whoever. Uh, a checklist would make things better. No, a checklist wouldn't make things better. You know, I mean, what, 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 I don't, come on, you, you have to, this is a process, and you do the process, and if nothing goes wrong, you're okay, but when something goes wrong, you're not okay, all right? Anyway, uh, I'm tired, uh, I'm going to stop talking here, I'm going to stop depressing you. I just opened up the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Skype in case anybody wants to call. I can't tell you how long I'll be able to do it tonight. It might be nice if I could do it for a while. Uh, we'll see how it goes, all right? So if you want to call, you can start calling. I've tried to, t I turned off the ringer. And so hopefully people will be able to call and I will see your call, but I won't have to hear it. But we don't know. So let's... Uh, Let's start calling, and I can see if this works. Well, here we go. Here comes Phil Meyer, uh, and I have to... He's the first guy that's going to put me out of sync. Uh, let me see here. Uh, 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 there we go, and... Uh, okay, there we go. Let me see here. There's Phil. All right, let me see here. There we go. Let me see. Phil, are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm here. Okay, so we can now hear you. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so. Yeah, you, you were alive the whole time. I was what? Uh, you, were, you were alive the whole time. I don't know what they're talking about, two minutes and at, uh, ten, nine, at 19 after. Uh, I was listening from one or two after uh, yeah. when you were doing the promos, and you were alive the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, so uh, I just, I'm fried. I'm just fried. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you know, when men have equipment that doesn't work properly, whether it's a car or or a stereo or computer equipment, yeah, uh, we get upset, and and it and it, it takes something from us. Well, and well, especially if it is the method of your creativity. Okay, yeah. you know, uh, and uh, we're we've been joined by. Scott Dr. Boddicker. Boddicker. There he is, right over there. And I, the more of you that call, the more I go out of sync. So everybody call. Oh, here we go. Here comes Charlie Wallace. You're a boy band. Uh, huh? Sync. That's in sync. <laughs> oh, it's in sync. That's in sync. Yeah. Uh, um, that's in sync. Yeah, not out of sync. Okay, let me see here. And let me uh, uh, put him up. There we go. There's Charlie Wallace. Hi, Charlie. How are you? Okie um, doke. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I mean, I just, you know, and then this whole thing with the, with the, with the trash can has just got me, you know, I mean, come on, you can fix it. <laughs> they don't think it's anything else other than the graphics boards, do they? No, it, it can't be. It, it can't be. It's just, there are two graphic boards in there and they could, their, their bosses wouldn't let them order two and say, let's try this one and let's try that one. Yeah. They could only order one at a time. And so now they say, well, it isn't that board because we put it in and it didn't change anything. So it's got to be the other graphics board. So, so since they put so that we, board we have, in. We have to get permission. We have to get yeah. permission. But they put the one board in and it, and it didn't work. If they put the other board in and it works, do you get two boards for the price of one? Uh, what happens is I get... Uh, uh, if, if they can't they, charge you for a board that, that no, you know, no, they no, they, no, she said they would only charge me for the one board, uh, you know, which is very nice of them. I, yeah. you know, that's, uh, that's they can uh, afford it, good. yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I think so. They could afford yeah. to just fix the thing and not even charge me, you know. Well, so. not with this Qualcomm settlement. What, what was the Qualcomm settlement? Thing? Uh, they settled with Qualcomm. Paid an undisclosed amount, uh, undisclosed amount of money. They're getting some sort of uh, 
uh, uh, uh, technology from them now. And Qualcomm stock went up 17% yesterday. Yeah. Well, Qualcomm's been around a long time. Yeah. I remember years ago, was it a, was it a mail program or was it a browser program? I think it was a mail program that I used of theirs. Yeah. And that was the first Qualcomm product. And then they yeah. started getting into making phones, phones and something. things like that yeah. or making uh, software for phones or firmware. Yeah, there's some, some technology that they have that uh, 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 it's either the 5G plus some other stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, that they have, and uh, supposedly Apple infringed on their patents, and Qualcomm, uh, they settled and paid Qualcomm quite a bit of money. Really? Son yeah. Of a bitch. Oh. Uh, there was, uh, at, at, but you know, Apple stock didn't go down. It went up like a quarter of a percent. Well, <laughs> I, you day. know, all I'm saying is, why are you having trouble fixing this thing? You know, just they said, well, you know, it's an older machine. And it's uh, it's exotic in that it's you know the parts are you know like a seven hundred uh, board they actually have to make to order, you know. Well, uh, yeah, <clears throat> you know, I have a similar machine, and when I bought it, the friend of mine moved here from Australia and he bought it in Australia. Yeah. Uh, so when he sent it to me, it had an Australian plug on it. You know those right. odd looking right. ones that they use in Europe. Right. Well. Uh, so I call up Apple, and I didn't want to use an adapter. So I, I said I need a new plug, and it has a certain kind of well, way the, the plug they have in there. You can use other plugs. It's just that you they could. They would. But look, it they wouldn't look, look as pretty. Nice. They wouldn't look pretty. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So trying to get a plug out of Apple for that machine took about ten days, and finally they were so embarrassed they actually sent it to me for free. Really? Uh, yeah. You know, it was not the easiest thing to get. Well, it was nice of them to send it for free. You know, yeah. that that was good. Let me see here. Yeah. I got to put in uh, gotta gotta get somebody... a garage dweller. What is that? Noise? Oh, in the garage. Side. Oh, uh, let's see here. That's the sound of um, got to get Rob in here. Okay, Rob Alfano. Uh, let me see here. I, we got Rob there. There we go. There's Rob. Okay. More people to put me out of sync. You know, mm. anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I just hope they can fix it. Yeah. If they can't fix it, I'm going to buy another one. Uh, is there <laughs> any way you can contact the people you bought it from and said, look, you know, it should last more than a couple of months. What's going on here? Well, no, they'll just say you didn't get the warranty. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, but, you know, you, you bought it in good faith. If, if, if it died, you know, so suddenly and yeah. so quickly, yeah. maybe, you know, they, you know, they'll give you another one. Mm-hmm. Dream on, you know, or switch it out. Nah, dream on, or give well, you a deal. Can't can't hurt to try. Well, no. Oh, well, let me wait and see if they can fix this thing first of all. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I found I could get the same machine for about uh, three thousand, yeah. and uh, it, factory refurbished. <laughs> mm -hmm. Factory <laughs> refurbished, but you know, I could I could sell this thing back to them. Yeah. Okay. You know, and uh, maybe get some kind of deal from them that way, because then they can fix it. You know. Yeah, but it, next time you buy one, get one from someplace that you can get a local warranty. Well, uh, the, the this one company that I looked at on eBay gets these mm -hmm. factory refurbs, and then they yeah. upgrade them. Like they t take them up to sixty-four megabytes, they t uh, yeah. gigabytes. They take them up to. Uh, the D nine D seven hundred board mm -hmm. in there, and they take it up to twelve core. Okay. Yeah. So that you can add cores. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't so know I that. Guess they, mine is six core. Well, I guess they, you can. Uh, obviously, you can't these, add cores unless you replace processors. Oh. Yeah, but you have so to. They, if they're replacing the processor, you could add cores. I didn't know they would do that though. That'd be expensive. Yeah. 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 So okay. you, you know, but they but they they by doing that. They took a low-end machine and brought it up to being a high-end machine. And, mm -hmm. uh, 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 oh, wait a minute. That's wrong. Doesn't one. make sense because the difference between getting the entry-level one, which is a four or a six, mm -hmm. uh, is, is about 800 bucks, uh, yeah. you know, based on what you can buy it for. And it w I think it would cost them more than $800 to add yeah, that memory, yeah. to add a different processor and more cores. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, the point is, that it, it's, it's not, uh, t you know, they, they can do it. Uh, and they do do it, you know. Uh, they're yeah. very, uh, very good at doing it. 
and uh, 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 you know, it's, uh, but they 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 made it cheaper for you that way. Yeah, yeah, uh, and um, uh, that's you know, so that's that's. Good. So this serial number machine didn't start out as a twelve core. Hmm. This serial number machine did not start out as a twelve core. This one did. Yeah. Oh, this, okay. this one started out as a twelve core. Okay, right. wait a minute. I got a. a it, it, this is going to completely. No, I'm still in sync. What's that's strange tonight? Let me see. I got to go over here to my next uh, group of people and let me put uh, Patrick in here. God, everybody's calling tonight. Uh, Patrick, let's see here. Darth Pat, there it is. Okay. Hey, when you threaten suicide, you get calls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's only because people are calling to say, jump, jump. <laughs> well, you are on the eighth floor. Yeah, yeah, you know. So uh, uh, I'll be happy to uh, jump for all of you. Okay. All right. Uh, but uh, this thing had me so depressed tonight. I just went, you know, it's one thing after another that keeps breaking. And now I'm. Do you know what? Tonight I'm in perfect sync. Yeah. I flushed my memory before I came. Well, I flushed my memory before I came on. Uh, but we're up to 30%, 29% CPU usage. But I, how, come, how come Tony calls the program, then he leaves? You know? Well, he's setting his mother up so he can... I had know, to for a napkin now. We, I, she had everything already. No, use a pillow. Use a pillow, Tony. It'll, it'll work better than a napkin. Yeah. I might have to actually... I can't. She's my retirement plan. That's right. Really? Uh, I hope I hope it takes a long time. Uh, you know that you get the subsidy for a long time. Yeah. You know? I hope so. I'm getting to get overtime with it too, just to stay home. I feel like I'm stealing money from the city. Yeah, <laughs> you are. So, you're right, Phil. <laughs> I can't deny it. So anyway, I didn't even know how I could come on tonight. To be honest with you, I I told uh, Jack and I told uh, Damien that I wasn't going to do a show tonight, and then I wrote him and said, Yeah, I'm going to. You know. Well. Uh, uh, but already I'm looking. I'm and, looking, and, and it's only six minutes have passed since I've been taking calls. Uh, well, while you were complaining uh, and and th and threatening suicide, I was eating the best steak I've had in a long time. Really? Uh, it was uh, from uh, Whole Foods, and it was this uh, porterhouse. It was so good. Oh, well, I'm uh, out of sync now, folks. Thank you all for making me out of sync. Okay, all of yeah. you are. All of you are fine. Yeah. yeah. So I don't care if I'm out of sync. Fuck you. You, know. you sound fine, no, Alex. Well, I got you in a little circle. You know, I mean, if you're well, that oh, that, that, that that actually works pretty good. I should probably use the uh, that video as my yeah. uh, as my video. Uh, I, I think I can do it too. Actually, let me see. Here. Yeah. Well, you'll you'll have a couple of circles. You mean you're going to use the Skype video? Uh, well, well if, as... if you see, this is uh, uh, I'm out of sync here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. And if I go, oh no, cancel. Wait a minute. If I, oh okay, that's eight. Uh, 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 we we got um, him there. Let me see here. Where is it? Local, local. Okay. Now uh, let me see what happens. See uh, anything happen? No. Well, oh, well now we that takes thirty there seconds for me to see. Now, now you see. Look, I'm going to show people here. Mm -hmm. Look, there are two of me, and this one. See. See how, see how, it lags behind the other one on the end, to this one. You're not talking to us about that, right? No, no I'm am talking to everybody who's watching. If if you look, I'm I'm pretty much in sync right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to get rid of uh, my, uh, I'm going to get rid of my Alex's camera, and uh, let's see here. We transition there, and I there there I am. Okay, yeah. you know I'm more in sync because I'm using the Skype than I am using the camera. Yeah. So the uh, the other thing is uh, takes up more CPU. Yeah. 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 For some reason, I I don't know. Who, well, I I, I I don't think that's the reason. I think the reason is one is Skype and one isn't Skype. You're using two different cameras and you're expecting them to remain in sync. Mm -hmm. Skype is probably a little bit out of sorts and you're the only one you can see right. in two places. So that's why it's in sync. Yeah, but you Does see, that make I'm, sense? I'm pretty much in sync right now when you're seeing the Skype. 
Right. I see you yeah. perfectly. But when, I, when, when, I, when I put in my, my camera, okay, my, which is... It's not in sync because it's two separate screens, which aren't necessarily like time base corrected together like okay. in a television studio oh, look, so they watch 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 my hand go up folks and then watch over on the end how long it takes to go up after a 1000 2000 2 seconds behind yeah it's, you know so uh, That's why. I, I don't know That's what why. i do about that you know and and i could change it i could go in and change the uh, the the properties on it and get myself more into sync. The only problem is it changes depending upon how many people I have. Because it depends on how Skype begins to lag. Because yeah. your camera is lagging in Skype because Skype is lagging because the more people you take on, well, the more CPU it takes. And no, actually, camera... actually, this camera that I'm using now, which is the, uh, the Skype camera, uh, mm -hmm. isn't lagging at right. all. But where the other That's one right. lags. So... Obviously, there's something stalling it as things go through. Now, with that, other, in sync. with that other machine of mine, it's fine. But this is, I guess this is a way of solving it, you know. you got to remember that the machine you're on is, what, a 2010 or 11 machine? Oh, two, or, 2010, yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's nine, it's nine year old technology. Yeah, but I'll tell you, it's robust. Yeah, you know, oh, exactly. I mean, it's it's handling this load. This is quite a load. Yeah, you think so, that's a load? You know, but, yeah. yeah, apparently it's better than the old new one. Huh? Well, right now it is. Right now it is. Yeah, I mean, your other one was very, very uh, reliable. I guess the word is. No, it was reliable. The new one was uh, just a a monster. Okay, absolute monster, and uh, I, I really loved it. Uh, and it would not, I would not be lagging because it had the power. Could take a, it could take a real licking and keep on ticking. Where here I'm using up like 28% of the CPU, I would only be up to about 10% with the other machine. Yeah, but on the Windows machine that you used the other night, you were at what, 60, oh, oh, 70? Oh, that, that, I can't use the Windows machine. I mean, I, I could, you know, I've been thinking about buying a Windows machine that's powerful and, yeah. and being able to do it, you know, but what the hell, you know. How you doing, well, my, uh, Scott? We haven't seen you in a while. Well, I'm I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. Yeah, you doing fine. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Um, you know what I'm gonna do from here on in? I'm gonna make that a square over there too, and then put myself in there, and then I'll be in sync. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a workaround. It's it's a definite workaround. Um, you know, it's a way of solving the problem. Uh, the only thing is, it isn't as good a camera as the one that I, you know, that I, I use a 4K camera for the main camera, and it's it looks great, you know, it's terrific. But anyway, so um, uh, that's uh, that's my problem, and maybe maybe you know if if tonight I can get this figured out, maybe that if I start using this and I won't lag, and if there you know we keep doing this, it keeps looking pretty good. I'll just live with it this way. You know, yeah. Until next week when they get you back your other yeah, machine. Yeah, if they get it back. Well, if they don't get it back, you know what I'm thinking of doing? I'm thinking right. of taking the uh, the uh, the computer. Yeah. And, and and you know it's got that kind of dip in it. They call it a trash can. It's kind of got a dip right. where the fans come up and, and so on. I'm gonna fill it with dirt and use it as a planter. Oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell everybody. Look, you show them the. Yeah, see that? That's the computer right there. You just put some dirt in the top there, and then you put a plant in there, and uh, I can say I've got myself a three thousand uh, dollar, thirty three hundred dollar planter. You know. Yeah. But uh, I might buy another one. You know, if that they can't fix that one, but it, what the hell? It's you know, it's only money, and I'm going to die soon at this rate. With if I keep doing gabnet, you know, <laughs> it's it's going to kill me. Well, if you buy another one, you still got the sixty four. Uh, uh, gigs, uh, megs of uh, memory in there, and that's five hundred bucks. Oh, so, I could, pr I could probably sell the thing for parts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. There, uh, that's a, that's a good point. But also, if you get another machine, get one with very little and no memory, sixteen, which is what it comes with, and then switch it out for the yeah, well, the, the anyway, sixty-four. Anyway, you know, or I'll, or I'll sell it. Somebody's willing to buy it because somebody will be able to fix it. You know, yeah. well, if Apple can't fix it. Well, no, if Apple can't fix it, I don't know that means it can't be fixed. I think it, right. it just means that uh, they, 
they're ridiculous, you know. But they should be able to fix it. I I don't see why not. They should look at this machine and say, you know, that's an expensive machine. Uh, we got to repair it. You know, we got to stand by a machine like that. And and with your luck, what's been going on with it is, uh, you know, all of a sudden they're not going to charge you for the second uh, uh, unit. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it turns out to be something else, they may give you that too. Yeah, you'll end up yeah. with another new machine. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I like this. I, 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 I am. I am. Every, what? Every time I've went to Apple for a problem mm -hmm. with my iPhone, like uh, twice, we took to get the batteries repaired on on iPhone 6s mm -hmm. when they were doing that $29 battery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, they, they, you know, you, they say come back in a couple of hours. You go back and they say, yeah, we really had, we had problems. We're giving you a new refurbished phone. Yeah. They don't even, you know, I know that this is a difference between a $200 phone and a $3,000 computer, but Apple's pretty damn good. And I can't imagine them not making you happy and just telling you. Yeah, but you had, you, had, you had a warranty on that. I don't have a warranty. I did not have a warranty. Oh, oh you on didn't? That. Did not have a warranty on it. Mm. Mm. The, the phones were they were old. Yeah, yeah. I never buy the extension. Oh, that that was the sixes and so forth. When, when they were doing the twenty nine battery. batteries. Yeah. I brought it to them and said I want to get the battery done. They they helped. They they came back and said we 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 it wouldn't after we put the battery in we ran some tests it was giving us problems so we are just giving you a different one we're giving you a a new refurb I was like. Okay. Yeah. And they did that twice. Wow. Two different, my wife's 6 Plus mm. and my 6S. The two 6Ss. She has the bigger one. And they, they just said, they did the same thing for both of us. We're just going to give you. Now Somebody you have a fan on? What? Me? That's fan. probably me. Yeah. Wait a minute. No. Oh, because my machine, this, this machine, the cheese grater, is also a, a thrasher as yeah. well. Well, we're losing people, so we should talk about other stuff, I guess, because nobody cares whether I'm about ready to commit suicide or not. Well, Did you, uh, have you, I, I'm, I'm a baseball fan, right? I'm a Yankee fan, and I watch the game tonight, and I watch every game and all that. Yeah. So if, if, have you guys talked about this whole thing with Kate Smith? Oh, the well, God said, bless America. The, the Yankees, at the seventh inning stretch for 18 years, have been playing, since really since 9-11, they've been playing God bless America, they've been playing Kate uh, Smith's Kate version Smith, of the song, yeah. Yeah. and they always have a vet on the field, and you know, we thank you for your service, and la la la. And now, because she sing, they found uncovered a song called "That's Why They Made Darkies," and uh, <laughs> so they're playing that now. <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the song. That's why they make darkies. It's got to do with you know picking the cotton and all. I mean, really, you got to listen to. The, you could go on YouTube and listen to these songs. They're there. And the other one is called Pickaninny. And one of them is performed in a, in an African American um, orphanage with all the little black kids. Well, look, you know, you know look, we have to. How did that? So they banned her. That? We can't. We can't suddenly get um, politically correct easy. retroactively. Right. You know, and that, uh, what bothers me is like, for instance, we I did an album years ago with a guy named Pat Sky. I produced uh -oh. it, and it was called "Songs That Made America Famous," and it was all like racist songs and things like that. Uh, one of them was called Bake That Chicken Pie. Uh, and, and it was taken from an actual record. By, uh, Pat had a copy of the record. It was made in like 1913 or something. It's Bake That Chicken Pie. You know, we black people love our chicken pie. And then the chorus is nigger, 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 nigger. <laughs> and, and we did the number as it was originally done. Um, and the joke that we did with it was I then stopped him and said, I'm sorry, but I really don't know if we can use that word. And so he went, well, what can we use? A colored person? No, that wouldn't work, you know. Uh, um, 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 and, and finally, um, I can't remember how it ends. I, I'll have to get the recording out. It's been so long, I forget what the, pa the payoff was on it. But we found a solution to not using the word nigger. And uh, today, if somebody heard that album, they would probably get upset by it. And the fact oh, is, and the fact is, the album was meant to be offensive. It was meant to say, mm. "This is what America considered okay." Um, uh, With the song from so Hair, you, you remember that uh, song from Hair? 
uh, with the uh, Piccaninny and all of those elevator operator. Uh, it, it's it's I, I you know yeah, well, I don't know what the relevance. All was. I'm saying is that when she recorded a song like that, she probably thought there was nothing wrong with it. And it was you know, 1930, if, 1931. Yeah, yeah. And if yeah, you, if, like if you that, look yeah. back at and it, Pat, if you look, how did these it, other songs end up getting attached to this? Well, if you look, God bless if you, I mean, everybody if today is looking for maybe. shit. So if you look back at it, okay, yeah. to be very honest with you, she really wasn't doing anything terribly wrong, because she was playing to the sensibilities of the time, uh, yeah. and and they considered a lot of the stuff they were doing, you know, minstrel shows. Mm -hmm. were not considered to be racist as much as they were considered to be a uh, homage to black people, you know? And, they were, you know, you had a guy like Al Jolson made his career yeah. doing blackface. Uh, Charlie, how do you feel about this? Yeah. You know, come on, you're the, uh, you're the, uh, <laughs> res saying. you're the resident Negro. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, I mean... I'm not going to hate Kate Smith for something that she said in 1931 yeah. that was perfectly acceptable to the country back then. Right. Exactly. So the the other team, the Philadelphia Flyers, have a, a very, very tight relationship with with her. And, and she used to sing God Bless America before uh, all the Flyers games. Mm -hmm. And they actually erected a statue outside of their new... Uh, sports, whatever they used to Didn't be. Didn't they the take spectrum. it down? No, they they covered it. Oh, they covered it. It's wow. just it's wrapped in like a black. You see, but that's it's, it's it's that's, black. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. That, that, you know, like when they were saying that baby, uh, it's cold outside, which was one of my favorite songs when I was a yeah. kid. Uh, is a rape song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm yeah, sorry. Well, you know, I mean, it was meant to be a cute little uh, little song about uh, a guy making an excuse on why he can't leave, you right, know, yeah. why he should stay, why don't we get yeah. close to the fire, you know. And the, the, it's a rape song. Oh, really? Yes, I can see that. You know. We're getting to the point where it's going to be very difficult for any man to make a move on a woman. You yeah, know, you go out with a woman, gonna you're gonna have out. to you're gonna have to sign a contract. You know, should we sign a contract that we could have sex together? Um, uh, I'll get my lawyer, and then uh, we'll, we'll work out all the details. And uh, the Republic, yeah, right? We'll get it. Re we'll get it signed and, and stamped. And, no, uh, no, they'll we'll make a, a, They'll make an Apple app. Uh, on the yeah, app that'll store, work. So right. <laughs> there you go. Somebody should do that. That's a really yeah. good idea. They probably yeah. have one. Well, I just think, I, as I say, I think it is, it is uh, you know, I mean, if you even think about it, you know, I just have a story here. They're bringing back um, for a special on May 22nd. CBS is going to be broadcasting a 90-minute show, one half of which is going to be a new version of uh, the Jeffersons, and one half is going to be all in the family. Really? Yeah. Who's, oh, I know. Uh, well, uh, who, uh, take a guess. Well, for... Uh, who do you think's playing, starring in uh, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, 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 what, what do you call it? The uh, Jefferson? The Jeffersons, yeah. Who's starring in it? Yeah. I don't know. Wow. AOC? Mm. Damon Wayne? Bill Cosby. No. No. <laughs> Bill, Bill Cosby. Cosby. <laughs> That'd be good. He'd be joined. <laughs> Jamie Foxx. Oh. And, He's going to play and, George. And Wanda Sykes is going to play Louise. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. And then they're going to do... Does, does all, Norman Lear have anything to do with any of this? Uh, apparently he does. I'm sure he does. He, he owns those those yeah. properties. Yeah. Is he still alive? Yes. Well into his 90s. Okay. Yeah, he's an old man. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, I would be surprised if he has anything more to do with just collecting checks and, uh, right. you know, just uh, green lighting it at yeah. this stage. Well, and and then they're going to do uh, uh, four, 45 minutes of the show is going to be um, uh, all in the family. It's going to be all in the family. Who do you think is going to star in that? That's a tough one. Who's going to uh, play Archie? Yeah, when I tell you, you're going to go. Meathead. You're going to you're going to think for a second, and then you're going to go. Not bad. I know. Good, John Goodman. No. Too old. Harrelson. Woody, Who? do you read Woody about Harrelson. it, right, right, Patrick? Yeah, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson's going to play. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. is, yeah. You know, he was good and and who's going to play Ethel or Edith rather? Edith. Edith. What? Roseanne Barr. 
No, one of my fav- <laughs> one of my favorite actresses. I get a boner every time I see her. Marissa Tomei. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God! Shit, that ought wow. to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Stretch. Uh, yeah, and it's being actress. oh, it's, it's being she directed was... by uh, James Burroughs, who's a veteran TV director. Oh, and the executive producers are Brent Miller, Will Ferrell, Adam McKay, and Justin Thoreau. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, this should be good. Well, wow. it, it is when is be, this going to air? Uh, May twenty second. I'm going to watch network? Network. Gonna have to uh, watch CBS. That. It's going to be CBS. CBS. Yeah. So the question I'm is, have to renew the, que- that the, the, the question <laughs> is, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a logical question to ask. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 it, 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 considering what we're talking about, could All in the Family have gone on the air today? No. Not, in, not the way it did in 1970. And do you, th- do you think yeah. they're going to adapt this version to make sure they're not being... No, I don't. I am hope not. Well, I mean, the whole I, idea behind the whole idea behind years, Archie maybe. Bunker and and in England, the version they have, which was mm. "Till Death Do Us Part," right. uh, uh, the the idea was this guy is a racist. That's what makes it so funny, and he's he has absolutely no compunction about it, and he it, it kind of makes him a pitiful character. And and if you don't play him as a complete racist, mm. then you are missing the point. Yeah, yeah. Right. The idea was that he never, he never won. He was lovable because there was good. There was a, a part of him that was a lovable guy, but he never won. Right? His ideas. He was always shot down. He was always made to look the fool. You know. I think one of the greatest it, moments on All in the Family was a clip I saw on a tribute to Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, yeah. I saw. That. Where he, he, he says, uh, can I take a picture yeah. of you two? And he said, sure. And then as they about to take the picture, Davis kisses him on the cheek. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and Davis said he had to fight to get that done. He, they yeah, were, that they, was a great scene. They weren't going to do that. That whole episode was hysterical. Archie is trying to tell Edith... Don't stare at his glass eye and all this. And when it, we sit down and they're serving coffee, and yeah. he says, uh, "Cream and sugar in your eye, there, Mister David." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but, I've got most of them on uh, DVD. Yeah. I, I love that show. Yeah, but Do you remember the one, one Rob, when they were at? He he liked Lionel. Remember when they were at the uh, Lionel's wedding, and Lionel uh, Lionel starts talking to Archie, and they didn't know that his parents were white. And then he goes like this, Archie. We better stand by the door, Edith. It's going to be a race for in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel used to make a fool he out of him. He was great. Yeah, he yeah. was funny. The original Lionel was the best, I thought. Did you like no, there, anybody there was here? There only one oh. Lionel on All in the Family. Did anybody, the here, Jeffersons. Did anybody yeah. here like yeah. the Jeffersons? I, did, I didn't like the Jeffersons. I did. Before. I liked it. Oh, I thought it was Not funny. nearly as much as All in the Family. I liked All in the Family. Uh, one Day at a Time I liked better if you wanted a show about blacks than... Uh, uh, the Jeffersons. Day, you know me. One day, no, you, uh, no, that was Valerie Burtonelli. Oh, like well, no, what, no, what's the one I'm thinking of? The one. Good what, time. What's, good what's happening? The good times. The good times. The good, I okay. love that show yeah. too. Jimmy like I work for you. Yes. Yeah. J. 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 Walker. J. J. Uh, he was great. Jimmy Walker worked for me as oh, my God. board op. I love Jimmy. As my board Alex. op at uh, WMCA. And he said, "You got to come down and see my act sometime. I'm working as a comedian." And I looked at this guy. He can't be funny. You know, <laughs> uh, so I never went to like see him. That. But and the next thing I know, he's a big fucking star on TV with Dino. Isn't that Mike. funny? That, that was, was before really your funny. comedy days and before your your yeah. connection to all these comedians. And here you had one a big one, yeah, working as your board yeah. up. And but he wild. came back. You know, he came back he to my show crazy. at W uh, at uh, Sirius, and he's talked about the days of way back when, and he loved working mm-hmm. with me. So we, we we had a good reunion. You know, yeah, well, Jeff. Jeff, do you have your hand up? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, a friend of mine wrote a book yeah. uh, for kids, yeah. and, and it had to do with uh, racism mm-hmm. as, as it went to Muslim kids. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they had one Muslim kid and one white kid, and, and she had to create uh, uh, somebody who was the racist to tell the story. So she picked the dog to be a, it was a, a dark dog, and the dog was a racist and that's what she used to to uh, get her system out there and at the same time not who did, who, who did i hear anybody else somebody i knew had a dog that always bl- barked at black people 
No way, really? Yeah, yeah. And, I know and, somebody like that, too. And we, she, we kept referring to him as the racist dog, <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's some black that's, guy probably That's kind of what the book had. The same thing. Yeah. Just the dog only uh, barked at that. Uh, at, uh, by the way, who by are, the way uh, let me uh, ask Charlie something. Charlie, what is it with black, <laughs> black people in swimming? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Good. Well, I, I have... I have, we have, we have one a friend of Marjorie's who's uh, black, and she was up here the other day and saying she didn't like swimming. She didn't like to swim, and I've I've met a lot of blacks in my time who don't like swimming. Well, we always did. Oh, okay. Well, I was just wondering. I think, and, and you're not the one to ask. Would you go find a real black person for me? <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to say, "Oh, those alligators, they got big teeth." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. God, I'm, 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 right I'm glad I actually we came dug on. Dug up our swimming pool to build the Dan Ryan Expressway yeah. in Chicago. But anyway, you know, so uh, uh, all in the family could not really. I I don't know what they're going to do, how they're going to adapt it, or whether they're going to come up with a way of of, of adapting it. You know, it, uh, is I this think supposed to be they adapted it. Hmm? Oh, do you know how much do you know about it? Is it supposed to be? Um, it's supposed to be Archie Bunker in... It says, in an unusual programming century. event, two iconic comedy series will return to TV in the form of a live recreations, by the way. It's going to be live. ABC announced plans for a live in front of a studio audience, Norman Lear's All in the Family and the Jeffersons. So it's ABC, ABC it's, and not CBS. Yeah, it's called Live in Front of a Studio Audience. Wow. Wow. That's going to be good, actually, Ooh. I think. Uh, here's somebody calling. It's a phone only. Uh, I hate it when, when people call phone why, only. Why do you mount the phone on the, uh, uh, on, on the new system? Just, you know, leave it. Yeah. Uh, who, is it who is this we're talking to? Well, you, well, you got the other black person on the phone. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I see. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, official other black person. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. By the way, this uh, is a, this makes it a full house, doesn't it? Is that? What, uh, yeah. This would be a full house. It'd be nine plus me. Yeah. 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 But, well, <clears throat> black folks love uh, all of the family. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean uh, the Jeffersons, yeah. because we had family members like George. George yeah. Jefferson was my uncle Sid. Yep. <laughs> And another thing that we liked about all in, uh, about the Jeffersons mm -hmm. was that uh, George and Wheezy were upwardly mobile. George was a businessman, something that no black character had ever been portrayed as before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and they had moved on up to the east side to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Yep. Yeah. yeah, nine is not a full house. Nine is a full oh, house. Nine smart. is the new full house? I don't know. Is it? Isn't it? I don't no, know. No, it was I... 10 was the full house. Oh, 10 was the full house? Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. we only have nine. Um, um, yeah. Uh, but that's... Uh, why do you always call on the phone? Why don't you call us on your computer? And cost yeah. Because there is something wrong with my Skype account, and I've yet been able to uh, get it straightened out so I can use it. It's been Can't down for one. two months. Get another one. Get yeah, another allowed. one. They're free. All right. Yeah. I don't like change that much. <laughs> <laughs> change is better than non-operational. Well, that's true. All right. All right, Myers. I'll get another uh, Skype account on Monday. Yeah. Now, I can explain the swimming thing yeah. to you real easily. And it's, and it's interesting that... Uh, I assume Marjorie's friend is a woman. Yes. Right? Right. Yeah. Black women don't like anything touching their hair. Right, Charlie? That's right. Now, so we were all guys, so I, I'm, yeah, we didn't have any women running with us. Any girls. Yeah, you know, black guys never had a problem with swimming. By the but, way, not, nine, you know, let me say something to Phil. Phil, nine yeah. plus. Me is ten. That's a full house. There isn't nine plus yes, you. Yes, there are eight plus you. No, there's eight pitch. Oh, wait a minute. You're right. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Time out on the field. Yeah. 
Yeah, that feels right. That's what I got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Son of a bitch. But, but to, <laughs> to let you guys in on the real secret. Yeah. Black women spend more on their hair than any other ethnic group. Yep. They also buy wigs. A lot of wigs. Well, not so much. Not, not anymore, buddy. You know, no? that's past eight. Uh, I used to pass this uh, wig shop in Richmond all yeah. the time. Hmm, yeah. You know, when you start talking about uh, wigs with black women, the closest you get is weaves and 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 uh, I can't think extensions. of extensions. It's called extensions. Extensions, yeah. Extensions, yeah. And um, by the way, I got a bone to pick with you. Pick it. Yeah, I was I was listening to you the other night, bone? and you started talking about these British shows that you all liked, and somebody mentioned Dad's Army, which to me is the worst television show that was ever created. I'll agree with you on that. Uh, it was Mike that mentioned and, Dad's and, Army, and, and, and Are You Being Served comes in I a close second. That show. You liked that? That was a terrible oh. show. Are you free? <laughs> it was so broad in its comedy that it, it was it was it was it was stupid, really stupid. I did not like well, it. I, 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 I can't believe I want to agree with Phil Meyer because that almost hurts me to my core. But I like all of uh, I like the Are, are You Being, being served? served. Yeah. Hmm. Particularly <clears throat> Young Mr. Grace. Hmm. Young Mr. Oh, is it still on? I well, it's running in this market. Okay. It's running in this market. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen it in years. Wow. Now, hmm. without a doubt, the, the best classic British comedy only had 13 episodes, and that was Faulty Towers. Yeah. I mean, I had a girlfriend that uh, saw Faulty Towers for the first time, laughed so hard, she literally wet her pants. Well, then I don't think you'd want to go out with her again, would you? <laughs> well, she had to take well, her uh, pants off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I had to take her pants off. <laughs> yeah. I assisted in her yeah. taking her pants off. Anyway, so I, I almost didn't do a show tonight, uh, folks, but I'm here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm exhausted. Oh. Oh, oh, great. I, inter I interrupt my evening to stand by, ready for you to kick it over to me like you asked, and you decided to go ahead and do a show. What, what do you mean, kick it over to you? I, well, I, you know, to do the handoff. You know, you, said to, you sent me a message. You say, be ready to go on when I go off, check and listen to see if I'm on. So I drug myself in here to Studio A, well, yeah, you only had to, to you only had to do that like five minutes before you went on the air, and if there wasn't a show going on there, you just wouldn't do it, you know. Well, you didn't tell me. You said you were going to go short. You didn't tell me how short you were going to go. You know, you work in network radio. You know, we got to well, time this crap out. I don't know. Once I get on the air, it's hard to get me off. Okay. Who knows? What do I mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> You know, isn't that a fact? I don't know about you. Yeah, well, I don't know about you. But I could, uh, I could be feeling sick as a dog, ready to go home and crawl under the bed. And as soon as the the newscast was over and the record was playing or the mm -hmm. caller was calling in, I felt like, okay, I'm going to do this thing, no matter what. It's uh, uh, what what we have done over the years is one of the most addictive. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 a few moments ago, I was looking over at the other screen. Patrick yeah. was doing the jerk-off sign. What were you doing the jerk-off sign for? <laughs> when you said it's hard to get you off once you're on the air. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. I was jerk helping off. you get off. Ah. <laughs> There's a visual. Yeah, there you go. It's certain. Hey, Alex. Yes. I want to ask you a question. Did what? you ever have sex in the studio? No. I, I, I did. No. I, I, you did. I did. You did? I did, and I also did in the general manager's office. Well, that, oh. I don't I, 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 I was in the general manager's office, and I was 
screwing this girl, and I said to her, gee, you know, I'm doing to you what my boss does to the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what, what did happen when I was at WMCA, when I was at WMCA on, uh, like, Tuesdays or something, they would have a staff meeting. And I did the overnights, and the staff meeting was at 9 in the morning. And so I wasn't going to go home and come back. So I went into our uh, the uh, uh, disc jockey's lounge <clears throat> where they had a couch, and I would pass out on the couch and go to sleep until the meeting. And uh, one morning I woke up to some woman who worked at the station. I won't say who she is, but she later became a famous publicist, uh, blowing me. Uh, <laughs> In the in the in the in the announcers' lounge, but that's the closest I ever came. Was I never the mixed. I, at, I never uh, mixed. Uh, a camel called the lizard lounge. What? Did they call the lounge at at camel? Yeah, I think the they did. Lounge? I think they did. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, uh, but that wasn't that was a lounge that had coffee machine and stuff. This was an actual uh, room that had a couch in it and whatever. Where actually, if you had to catch mm -hmm. a nap, you could go catch a nap. You know, mm. uh, and I would uh, once a week when they'd have these meetings, so I didn't have to go all the way back up. I was living in uh, Riverdale at the time with Archie and Veronica, and um, <laughs> I uh, uh, Tony should have liked, Tony would have liked that joke, but Tony is now an empty chair again while he goes to <laughs> to try needed to, something. While but he is uh, muted uh, while he's murdering his. There mom. he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> I gotta help her in the bathroom. Now we're doing yeah, the bathroom break. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fill the tub up high <laughs> enough to get it over the head. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm, she wants to know who I'm talking to. I'll be right there. I got. You have any? Just, it, <laughs> I like it. I I think this is part of the life of this show. Is Tony? So, you know, yeah, right, Jeff? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you used I got to a back some... around in the bathroom, Alex. Okay, well, sure. just keep the I, keep, just keep much the, oh, just keep the camera you. going. Just keep the camera <laughs> okay. going. Come back and give us some uh, updates. Update, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You remember? I, I, I think I think what'd be really fun some night is if he like grabbed her, pulled her up, propped her into that chair, and had her sitting I don't think there she's while she's alive. We, yeah, <laughs> I I think this is a whole she's Norman probably mummified. This is a whole Norman what's his and, name. And this is a deal. pretend thing. He plays <laughs> plays with the mummy. This is Norman Bates time here. Right. Yeah. That's right. Mrs. Bates. Tony's a good Tony's a good son. I mean, he's taking care of his mom. He's he is. Doing, yeah, he you is. know, like they like you and I are to not going to have that. You know, the city the city has to pay him to do it. He wouldn't do it unless you know he'd rather fold boxes for his <laughs> uncle rather than help his mom out unless the city paid him. So yeah. he stays home now and gets paid. Uh, I, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's why I did. He's yeah. no longer working on the hat? I don't the problem think so. Is the, the problem is the hat job was 9 to 5. This is 7 days a week. Yeah, 24-7. Yeah, that, that ain't And, that ain't and, and this includes bodily fluids. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. oh, give him that sponge bath. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, Patrick. Sent a couple messages to me every day with voice messages and text messages. Uh, I just want to inform you all that this has not become official yet. We're oh. still working at the hat shop. Right, oh. Tony? Oh, uh, Tony! Oh, oh, oh! There's Tony again. Tony's back. I yeah. just tucked her in again. She'll be up in a half hour. Yes, we what, we want, what we like want you to do? Hatch, what we want you to do? Pretty, pretty good, you know. We challenging. just said that what we want you to do once, Tony, yeah. is perhaps or I should look up at you. I think you're up there. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, uh, you should uh, 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 join us. Just uh, take your mother and prop her in that chair. I uh, should, you know what? If I get her, I'd have to. Right now, she's. In her pajamas, but boy, if she ever got a hold of you, she would tell you all my crazy stories. <laughs> I mean, like I was always doing into something in school. Now, does she have footy pajamas, or is this like a night? Actually, it's like a muumu, I would say, Alex, because it's just like a <laughs> thing. Goes, but then I put we it's, put the night. It's the same too, thing like that Kate now. Smith is now wearing at that ballpark. I, I could I'm never telling. do that. I could never do and that. And then she tells me about the dream. She'll, she'll call me and saw with Alexa at night because mm -hmm. she has an Alexa in her room. And I said, Mom, you want to call me? And I hear chimes. And sometimes I think I'm sleeping, but I know what's up. Now she's yawning. I can hear her from me. <laughs> so oh, she boy. goes, can you come in? I said, what's the matter? 
I need some ice in my drink. Come on, it's three in the morning. Just sleep. <laughs> This is it's like you're like, like a waiter. This is like uh, like the movie wow. Marty for crying out loud. This is I like I can't you know. even when you said that it's so true because I can't even make it up. I mean I love her. She's funny, but it's like, and when I made a laugh before, my brother came up. She laid a fart because I was making a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make a meat pie, right? So my brother's buying the stuff. She's but we can't give anything to your uncle because he's cheap. It's all right. We won't give him anything. Are you sure? It'll take us three hours to make. You couldn't buy this kind of comedy. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you could not buy this this kind of comedy. He could be the next J.J. Walker. Yes, uh, yes, Patrick. Get my tea. Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anybody who's worried about Tony not getting married or something, mm-hmm. he doesn't need to. This is <laughs> yeah, he's got a nagging mother instead of a wife. Right. That's right. And she can't get around quickly, so that helps. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, I've got a serious question for Alex because he brought up Kate Smith. Uh, did they ever bury her because for years she was in a uh, uh, a, 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 uh, got a full house uh, oh wait a minute hold on a second I gotta go get him on here let's see here that would be the uh, 10th place uh, I guess huh, huh? yeah uh, yep. Jack uh, they yeah. didn't bury her she's over at Tony's house <laughs> let me see here I gotta I gotta find uh, let's see scuba diver uh, hog I guess hog rider yeah she's yeah. buried I, I just found her grave yeah. Yeah. Where's she buried? Queens. She's buried in, uh, let's see, burial at St. Agnes Cemetery mm-hmm. in Lake Placid, New York. Wow. Well, for years she was uh, in a refrigerated vault at some funeral home. Really? Because uh, uh, there was a problem with the estate and uh, there was uh, something going on where she was not buried for. For uh, twenty years, uh, should have used the charge card. Yeah, really. And, and, you got to pay. Gotta, I'm sure you got to pay for storage fees. Yeah, I'm sure you're paying storage fees at a funeral home. They were probably giving tours. Hey, you want to see Kate Smith's Kate body? Smith. Come on in. Two dollars. <laughs> you know something? I, I I went back and looked at my uh, my camera. And it is now like about a five-second lag because we have so many people on the citizens panel. Yeah. So when I uh, over the next couple of days, I'm going to rearrange this so I can then in my in in the square where I have me, uh, I can put the uh, actual thing. I have to do some rearranging and stuff. But uh, because hey, Jack, this, you heard this, uh, those this songs? I'm not I'm not I'm not lagging. But if I were to bring in, hold on a second. I want just want people to see this for a second. If you want to see this. Uh, wait a minute. That's not it. Uh, th- wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. This is that's not it. Fuck. I'm, I'm, do you oh, have I the see. Full, I see. Full house. What? Uh, do you have the full house um, uh, uh, deal to you know put on there? Not, we got a full. Hold house. on a second. So if I show you what this looks like with me in here, you know, with my video thing, uh, I'm gonna like raise my hand. Look at me up above. And then look how the lag is. See that, folks? That's what the lag is all about. You can't figure it out. And I'm not going to figure it out, and I don't want to figure it out. And, uh, you know, we'll just... uh, uh, Right now, I'm just one of the guys. I'm part of the crowd, you know, which is kind of nice, too. Uh, Let me see here. Hello, uh, Kevin. How are you? All right. How are you, Alex? Yeah, how's how's the leg and everything? Is it okay? Uh, They're coming along. Yeah. It's coming along. Okay. Uh, uh, Trying more programs. Yeah. Stopping me all now, over. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I want to talk about something, yeah. I guess, here that's political. Oh, we have 34 people watching us now. Oh, I'm... Uh, one thing. Kevin, does it do shiatsu? Uh, no, no. You. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, no, you? Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> um uh, I, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but as many times as I've had these people on the air try to explain the Mueller report, I don't get what it's all about. I don't get what the salient points are of it. 
you know. Uh, all I want to know is, did we nail him or didn't we nail him? Do we get him or didn't we so. get him? I, I think I think uh, even though only 8% of that report has been redacted, mm -hmm. it's that's like giving a murderer and his attorney the results right. of the trial and saying, let's figure out what we can give everybody. Come on. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You either release the report to Congress because Congress is the ones who need to determine whether or not they want to yeah. They want to pursue it, right? If you don't give them the entire report, I don't care if you only redact two percent of it. They need to see one hundred percent of it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're giving them some sort of report that has less redactions in it, and well, then the redactions be zero redactions. They're well, fucking I don't government. They're a branch of government. Why? Uh, because there's some law, uh, a G something. It, it has to do with the grand jury uh, testimony don't, and ongoing don't, don't, cases. Uh, you know, it's kind if of you funny. If believe in Trump so strong, yeah. if, if, if you believe in Trump as strongly as you do, don't you want his name cleared? Of course. Well, then why but wouldn't you? It'll, hey, that, that thing could clear him 110%. But uh, the Democrats in Congress will spin it in such a way you know, he was breathing air, so therefore he was colluding. This way, it's worse this way, because if they don't show it, it's worse yeah. this way. Uh, it, it, yeah. it, look, look we're, we're not fighting. We're not fighting the collusion thing. The de <clears throat> Democrats, well, I think. Wait, collusion, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. They've long given up, I think, on that that ghost because uh, they, they didn't miss a beat. No, because uh, the Mueller reports did, said he was not colluding. Okay, plain right. and simple. No. That's not what the Mueller report said. All right, what did the Mueller report say? This is like a, this is like the E. Chain or like Rashomon. But the Mueller report didn't conclude anything. It okay, did. Like he, it he, MSNBC. He, right. He he made no conclusions. What you heard was his his boy in the the AG is the one who uh, who who concluded anything. The Mueller report didn't conclude anything. It was facts. It was evidence. And it was a report that should be viewed by Congress so right. they can make a determination. But and it's the almost point. like he wrote it that way so that he could let Congress figure it out. Absolutely. That's what Congress's job is to and do. And so that's why they should just open it up, give it to Congress, and let them figure it out. Yep. And if there's something well, you know, when, one when, way or the other, they can just figure it out. And if it's cl he cl gets cleared, he gets cleared. Right. If he doesn't, he gets screwed. Didn't, didn't, uh, didn't Clinton have a special prosecutor? Right, and when that report he had a came, special on, prosecutor, but but Mueller was a special. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a different a different, different position. Different, it's, it's different. It was uh, it Mueller was works for the Department of Justice. But anyway, he came out with a report too, right? With yeah, every, it was like it was if different. Kenneth Starr came out and said, "Well, Clinton was was horny, so that's why he did that." Starr, so can't, can't, can't Starr was find not a guilt. prosecutor, but, but I mean, uh, Starr uh, was. Uh, 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 yeah, well, uh, well that's Kenneth Starr was a prosecutor. Starr was. He was, a prosecutor. A, he was an independent. In prosecutor, prosecutor, right? Independent prosecutor. Oh, now Phil's going to go look it up to try and see. That. <laughs> Phil, don't waste your time. That's what he was called. Was an independent prose uh, prosecutor. I don't understand why any American would be for redaction of any kind. And I'm not talking to the American people. I'm talking to Congress. Just give it all to Congress. Right. That's well, it. Well, it's because because uh, because Congress what's his name? Uh, uh, Come on, but the Senate's not. The Senate's the uh, other way. So that's your checks and balances, right? No, the set, that, that has nothing to do with uh, the way they would interpret or want to interpret in their It doesn't uh, matter if they can't estimation. convict. If they can't convict because they if they if they're if they're going to they impeach, can impeach and they right, but if they can't convict, they're not going to impeach. Well, of course they would. No, uh, they, they, they they're won't. looking they'd be to embarrass to, Trump. They're looking to do anything they can do to weaken his agenda. Him. He doesn't need anybody to help him emba no, be embarrassed. He's going, he's, yeah, he doesn't need to be, He doesn't need help embarrassing they're trying to himself. Stop, they're trying to stop okay. him from doing oh, oh, the good. Okay. That he's doing. Hey, okay, you guys are having a good time, but 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 Patrick has his hand up. So the law is the guy with his hand up gets to do the thing. Okay, go ahead, Patrick. Um, Rob, I think they would impeach just as a tit for tat to what the Republican did to Clinton. Mm -hmm. Even though they could not convict him on anything, it was the principle, in quotes, of doing the impeachment proceedings, and I think that's what would happen. They could but, still do it, though, without it. They could still impeach him. 
they, they don't need nothing. the Mueller report to impeach him. No, but, but it's so late now, and and I know we've discussed this on here before. If the if the Democrats do plan on impeaching, wait until if Trump gets a second term, because mm. otherwise, if it's just going to be that's right, and I know they know that. They understand that. That's why they're not for impeachment, unless there's clear-cut evidence where then they, even the Republicans can't, they can't fight it. Right. So right now is not the time for anybody to do well, anything. Well, I, I agree. You know, I don't think that we need to impeach him. I think that if we started impeachment tomorrow, it would be election time before we ever got imp him yeah, impeached. That's right. And, yeah. and, yeah. and uh, it's a little too late to start impeachment proceedings. And what you do now is you use this report to say, hey, look how fucked up that uh, office is. You know, right. how, how, right. how this guy is going, I'm fucking mm -hmm. toast uh, and, and all kinds yeah, of things. So really you're taking that out of, out of context. I'm not You're taking right. anything out of context. Did, that quote did he use toast, the word fucking or, or didn't he up. use the word fucked up? Yeah, you say he used the word fucked up, but you took and it out bullshit of context. He used. <laughs> yeah, well, today he did, but yeah. you know, the, the you should listen or read the balance of that statement, which was that the Mueller investigation, once they appoint a uh, special uh, investigator or prosecutor, that it ruins uh, his uh, ability to. Uh, create his agenda and, and follow through with what he wanted to do. Uh, so if if the statement was read in its entirety, then uh, you would see uh, that he wasn't doing anything to impede uh, Mueller. Good. Thank you for your interpretation. Now we'll go to someone else who saw My the murder. My interpretation is accurate. Who saw the Yours is biased. Saw oh, the it's not accurate. Mine's not biased. I don't give a fucking shit at this point. This thing is so... Everybody's coming up with... Just you got your theory, and somebody else has got their theory, and it's like, it's like the I Ching. Everybody takes out of it whatever they want to get out of it. Well, you as know. a Democratic uh, presidential contender... Uh, just write in my name on your ballot. Uh, it, it, stop with stop uh, with that bit because that isn't <laughs> doesn't work. It's not working. It's not. Uh, working. Right. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, yesterday I was watching. I was watching Newsmax. Oh God! You know, every time I watch Newsmax, I want to go take a shower. You know, <laughs> yes. uh, uh, it, because it is so filthy and biased and everything else. And I'll get to you in a second, Patrick. But there's one guy did bring something up. He said, uh, let me show you this. This is a CNN. The Mueller report came out at 11. Look at the timestamp on, on the thing. And it was like 1101. 11.04, 11.05, 11.06. And they're going to so-and-so who's just read the Mueller report. <laughs> you know, I, think they had, I think they had the Mueller report but couldn't, um, they couldn't say oh. they had the Mueller report. Oh, really? Is I that? had it. I had it. Right here. Yeah, I know, with the gap name. Was... <laughs> yeah. Alex Bennett. Truth of the matter is, <laughs> truth of the matter is, this has got to be like the revisionist history that comes along 20 years later. You know, when Truman left the White House, he was considered the dumbest son of a bitch that ever lived. 20 years later, we realized... What a great state that he was. He was. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. If, 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 you have to shut up now because Patrick's had his hand up so long that he may lose feeling to that part of his body. So go ahead, Patrick. I, I don't remember if I heard it on your show, Alex, or if it were Jack's show last night, but it was the only thing that made sense to me that let Someone who has no dog in in the in the game here yeah. go for it, and that would be some uh, someone other than an American, wow. and would be Canadian. Whether the Netherlands, the Hague, right? How about I Putin? Mean, that yeah, would Putin. make no sense because then everybody got to shut the fuck up. And I do You're like right. the idea of the Hague because right. if one my war criminal there. And everybody agrees on guilt or innocence based on what the Hague says. I would say that would be the best place. And if anybody would hand it to the UN, I would set myself on fire because that's the whole. <laughs> 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 
Don't set yourself on fire. I like. We can do the hex. Or open up another Nuremberg trial. <laughs> Not a bad idea, Patrick. Why? Yeah. The guy's innocent. Come on. What do you then need to find that, and we'd be done with it. I'm. I. I think he's innocent. I think if you, if, Phil, if you're innocent of something, you're about. You're willing to hand over anything you can. To show your innocence, you're not looking to hide anything. Bill, if it was up to you, guy to fuck up the White House before I get into it. Bill, if it was up to you, they'd hand it to Eric to do. I'm talking about yeah. you, Phil. If you if you knew you were guilty of some, or you were being accused of something, and you knew you were completely innocent, you would be as cooperative. Here's this. Here's that. You no. hand it all over. Trump, Trump was angry that he was being accused. It's very common. Why should you be cooperative when you didn't do anything wrong? As far as he was concerned, he was being attacked. He didn't do anything wrong, and he came out fighting. No murderer and has ever been a murderer, right? Nobody who's ever killed anybody is, uh, who has said, I didn't I, do it. I will say anything. this. I will say this, that if Donald Trump didn't become president, he'd be in jail by now for everything else. <laughs> okay. Uh, he'd be in Mar a Lago and he'd be playing golf. No, he'd be. He, the man, his life would the have man, been much better. The man is a crook. <laughs> he ha always has been a crook. He will continue to be a crook. But he, in he, wait a minute. He learned how to do business on the streets of New York and they have to deal with the mob and got a mob lawyer as his best friend, Roy Cohn. <laughs> he yeah. is as absolutely corrupt as any see, human being. But they all in the, are. No, no, I, that did, no, Phil, Phil, Phil that happens but that, that doesn't corrupt. make it, that doesn't make it right, Phil. That's the problem with Donald Trump. He's been a polished turd for years and he got to the presidency and he's going to walk away a polished turd. He jumps in a pile of shit and he comes out smelling like a rose and that's what, that's what, that's what he needs to be taught. Well, Kevin, that he ain't going to be a rose. That's not, Compared to the rest of the Washington, it's not hard to be a pile of shit and come out smelling like a rose. Well, you know, right, the rest of the he's been doing it all his life, and he needs to be taught. Oh, Phil, uh, why do you think Washington is so? Phil, why do you think Washington is so corrupt? We're on, look at it. He's just we, taking it to the extreme. These people in Congress have been have been there. Uh, they they have done nothing. They've had, you know, 20 years ago they had a 13% approval rating, and it's the same pieces of shit that are still there. And you conservatives are bitching about new faces in Congress when they come in. Uh, you go on about to do with AOC and China. You guys are going, you guys are going on it's about AOC. And you, and the you, guys are going, it. you guys are going on about AOC who hasn't been there for two years. Yeah, and she uh, hopefully won't be there in another two. I don't like well, her. I've is, gotten to the point. You know, she's, she's no hot. good. And she's, she's hot, but I don't like her. Yeah. I just I don't like <laughs> radicalism. I, I'm just not a radical person. I don't like radical people. I don't like them on the right, and I don't like them on the left. I think they're dangerous. Where they Agree with her ideas. Medicare for all. Free comedy. Majority. Tell Thomas Jefferson that you didn't like ra radicalism. Tell that to Ben Franklin that you don't like radicalism. Why they Tell were that to George Washington. They were radicals. So, they those were guys were radicals in their day. Those guys were radicals in their day. Maybe we're at the point where radicalism is just too much on either side at this point. We're pressing the envelopes too far on both sides. We didn't like the Tea Party, right, for their radical ideas. And they don't I like have no the radical, with the Tea Party. And, and they don't like the radical nature of the left. Okay, but here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think that I like AOC. I like her because she's put a mark on uh, Washington very fast. And uh Oh, even even one. even if you disagree with what she says, it's the fact that the ideas are being floated out there, and people are listening to it because it's coming out of a very beautiful face. Okay, uh, and and so the, the, there's good there that it makes people think. Just like uh, I could put down Bernie Sanders for all sorts of things, but I'll tell you, coming out for Medicare for all puts that discussion in the public uh, in the public gallery. Now and he's and, out for and, the new greenback. Will you deal. let me finish, Phil? For Christ's yeah, yeah. sake. Go ahead. Jesus Christ. I mean, I can't get out of sentence without you jumping in. All right. Uh, Have yeah. a nice day. What? Oh, oh, now you're going. 
No, no, I'm not going. I just don't want to get involved anymore. No, but uh, you, you just let me finish a statement, and then you can say what you have to say that's so very important. You okay, know? it's not like you never talked over me. Okay. It's, it's not like I talk much on this show at all. I let most of you do the talking. Mm. And yeah, especially talk, you, Phil. I think if, in fact, we took a, a log of how many, how long you talk on this show as opposed to how long I talk, forgetting about the first half hour, you talk more than I do. All right. Would anybody disagree with that? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, don't, you know, don't think I'm interrupting you. Uh, uh, I Phil, can't... if you want some extra time, you can call me tonight, please. Uh, it's okay. I don't want extra time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was just adding to the conversation, yeah. but uh, obviously it wasn't an ad. And, and don't start up with me tonight because I'm not in a good mood. I haven't been right. in a good mood all day, and I'm sorry if I if I jump down your throat. Now I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, so by that, AOC, that, yeah. that, that, that by putting these things and, and saying these things and having people then repeat them, they put the discussion <laughs> into the public arena. And, and the thing about Medicare for All on the part of... Uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, Bernie, Bernie Sanders, Bernie, uh, put it in the in the limelight. It made people talk about it. And her thing about the Green Deal, they're talking about it. All right, and it's because she said it. Now, whether you like her or not, she's effective in that in that uh, in that way. And I, I I happen to think I happen to like her. Um, I don't know that I would. Uh, uh, vote for her for president or anything like that. You know, she's too young for that. But I got to tell you, I think the Democrats have got a real problem. I don't think they've got a candidate worth a hill of beans, except for maybe, and we have to see how he, how he, Pete, Pete how he, you know, turns out. Right now it's too early to tell. But he does, he, 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 you know, I think he's, he's, the best candidate they have at this point. Joe Biden getting into it next week. Big mistake. Big mistake. Anybody here think Biden's a good idea? Nope. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course you would, <laughs> Phil. Uh, Biden is the only one that could actually uh, try to get the Rust Belt uh, that could appeal to uh, the states that uh, Trump had won last time. I don't see uh, any of these other far left candidates uh, pr uh, going to get anybody except in California, New York, and uh, maybe Massachusetts and, and Vermont. Well, I don't. I, don't, I, I agree don't, with you, Phil. Well, yeah. I don't know that. If, it, it, it depends. It, on, it'll be a route. It, it depends upon how you parse yourself. I'll go to you next, uh, Patrick. How you parse yourself with those people and how you construct your, your platform to those people. Uh, I think that that Rust Belt is ready for Medicare for All, to be very honest with yeah. you. That's why they applauded Bernie at a mm -hmm. Fox town hall. You know, There's no way a socialist can, uh, uh, can attract uh, uh, those, uh, uh, that end of the uh, country. Well, maybe if he... Well, it, 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 well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Minutes. Hold on a second. Patrick has his hand up. Yes, Patrick. There... I said this the other night, and I'll say it again. Um, the majority of my family is uh, Democrat. Yeah. And there are quite a few who are former military. Yeah. And the fact. Oh, <laughs> oh that's. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> I think that's just it's good. the police. Uh, uh, <laughs> Give up! Don't let me. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to get the smoke from the cigar out of the uh, out of the. Garage? Oh, you heard you heard that? I thought I muted my mic. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no! It's, I'm sorry. I first, I I first, first, first I button. Thought, I, 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 see this button here? Where it's yeah. flashing red. I thought that was mute. Oh no! Apparently not. Well, no, the battery not. needs to be charged. The amplifier. <laughs> yeah, the right to read. Oh, no, anyway, what were you saying? Somebody was saying something about yes, you, Patrick, Patrick. About, about military. There, there are quite a quite a few former military in my family as well, and anybody that uses the term socialist in their uh, party title, if Democratic Socialist, or I believe in socialist position. Uh, my family will be voting third party, and the only one that they see 
you know, my folks were over early in the week mm -hmm. with Joe Biden, and they were saying that, you know, if Joe would run, it would be more in line with what they would believe. Not only, I mean, I'm sure age has something to do with it, since they're both nearly 70, but it's also the tone and that lack of the term socialist because that scared the shit out of everybody in my family, Democrat well, and not Democrat. And they will not vote for somebody, don't, don't go third party like I'm going to. Well, Patrick, maybe that socialist needs to, ask, needs to ask voters a question. Do you believe that everyone should be able to get health care without it bankrupting? You could be a socialist. If you believe that the bosses should not have complete control of the economy, you could be a socialist. Well, I think I think I, I think the problem is is that socialist is a term which is trying to be applied broadly when really it should be applied uh, narrowly, and so somebody like uh, like uh, Trump is going to go, oh, they're socialist, but the person really isn't a socialist. I mean, uh, I don't. Uh, uh, you know, I don't. I don't really consider Bernie that much of a socialist. To be very honest with you, I consider myself a socialist. Reagan made "liberal" a dirty word hmm? during his uh, uh, thing. When if uh, who ran against Reagan? It was um, uh, Carter. Monday. And then, uh, not, not, no, not Monday. Uh, uh, the other one that started with uh, uh, Yeah. So anyway, yeah. What he did was he was able to change the narrative and create the word liberal to be a dirty word. And, uh, and the same thing will happen at, with the socialism. That's right. I agree. Well, well, maybe the socialists need to make conservative the dirty word. Yeah, Never because happened. because they're they are trying, the but they're not going to win it. Never happened. The dirty way. The Tea Party is as close to that as you ever came, Jack. Yeah. Because well, 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 first of all, yeah, yeah, but first of all, they didn't, uh, those of us on the left didn't keep on doing it. You conservatives worked for 20 years at your agenda. You know, I always point out, and don't mind doing it again, that conservatives fall in line while liberals fall in love. Maybe we need to take some of your tax. Well, I think you're I think you're, you, I think you're using hyperbole. I, I don't think you're using okay. a truism there. Uh, you know, but I do agree with you. I think that we have to fall in love and we also they, somebody I think the trouble with the with the left is is they are too dogmatic about what you have to be in order to be a leftist. Oh, well, he's not left enough. Well, come on, you know, he just said he wanted Medicare for all, wasn't that enough for you, you know, <laughs> you know, but no, but, he, you know, in his past, he, you know, like the Biden, they're trying to hit with all kinds of things that he's just not even, you know, he's kind of really just a moderate and, and they feel that the Democrats have to take a position and I don't know if they are. Patrick? Yeah, my, I mean, the Jack question earlier, my folks are, and most of my family very much in favor of Medicare for all in a lot of those positions, mm -hmm. but if that terminology of the word socialist, I mean, you can get my stepdad started on it because he was in the military and he didn't go in the fucking military to bring socialism back to this country. And I know what is the most socialist organization in the country? It doesn't you look at matter. Venezuela. It, well, well, yeah. well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got two conservatives here. What do you guys, how do you guys describe socialism? Phil, Phil Myers had an interesting lesson about that on my program a few nights ago. I don't think so. I, I, I describe socialism as the next, the, the first, first step, step towards, towards communism. communism. Well, well, give me an example of how that is the first step. Uh, well, you look at the countries that are uh, uh, in, let's, let's say, Venezuela. Venezuela. Uh, socialist okay. the country, they had socialism for 10 years, now they're eating out of garbage trucks. So that's a socialist what, 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 is a socialist until he runs out of uh, to begin with, to begin with, with I, I, I think you're wrong, uh, Phil. I don't think it could be considered a, uh, a socialist nation, Venezuela. It, it, it's very much an autocracy, and that's it. Yeah. You know. It, you it, it, wait a minute, Phil, 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 Phil. It is not no. considered to be a socialist nation. 
often. You can right. tell yourself. All right, Phil, Phil, tell everybody about your experience of talking to Richard the other night and what you learned. Well, Richard said that in his country, uh, that that it works, and I'm sure it does in his country. It worked for because, fifty fucking years. Yeah, but they also have a, a population of about ten million compared to our three hundred and some odd million. Uh, they have a population that is uh, homogenous to uh, uh, one well, well, race. There's, there's ninety million people. Well, in wait a minute! Wait a minute! What does being homogenous with one race have to do with the economy? Right. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, Tony, like Tony, the, uh, Tony has his hand up, uh, folks. Yeah, this is quick. What I don't, what I don't get is, to Phil is, wouldn't it make logical sense since we have, when you hit sixty-two, that you have uh, Medicare for people? Wouldn't it just make logical sense? Like Alex went to the dentist, right? They, and I went to the dentist. Some some work needs like two thousand dollars for like an implant or this, whatever the price is. But here's the question. Though. When you when you reach 65, me, you get Medicare. Okay, 65. Well, here's the problem. can't work to 65. Huh? But he, but How about he, all these people that I have friends who are in their late 50s who can't find jobs? Oh, and well, they, they got to find what they What? What do you mean find what they can find? Unemployment, unemployment is under 4%. Are you telling me you can't find a, a job in this, in this economy? Phil, Phil. I hate to well, argue with you, but, but wait, wait, hold on a second, Phil. Yeah. Uh, 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 I hate to tell you this, but unemployment is 100% in my house. Uh, I'm sure it is. Or it's 50% But if, in my if house. you were willing to do something else other than what you've been doing for the last 60 years, you'd flip have a burgers? job. You mean flip burgers? No, no. What do you mean I'd have a job? No, I wouldn't have a job, Phil. At 79, do you think I would have a job? Are you yes. out of your fucking mind? Nobody was yeah, What? 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 going to hire him? Uh, Jeff, you're closer to my age than anybody on this panel. Uh, wouldn't you say, Jeff, that I that uh, at 79, I'm, it's impossible for me to get any kind of work? You're you're uh, you're toast. No, I have, well, you're 79, so okay, but you're on Medicare. I have friends who are late 50s you know? who cannot. They're intelligent people. They've been in the IT business for mm. years. And they cannot find a job, even with okay. all their experience. So if they're not earning any money, there's something called Medicaid. Mm -hmm. And they would get their full coverage, just like Medicare, uh, if, uh, and, and if it, it would be at the expense of the government. It's a safety net. It's a safety net there, there for president those. president trying to do away with Medicaid? Yeah, he's cutting a trillion dollars out of Right Medicaid. now, no one's he's done away with it. It's still there. But he wants to do that, there. But you're, well, you're he wants in favor to do a lot of, of things. Team. He wanted to fire Mueller, you know? <laughs> it's true. He did want that to didn't happen. He loves to fire people. Yeah, well, you go into that office by yourself, you're losing a job, you know it. <laughs> so but my question is, uh, who have the Democrats got, you know, that is capable? I like the guy the other night. You said, did you, who did two tours? Yeah. I, 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 I like think, uh, I think uh, Andrew got, Yang. Oh, who the fuck is Andrew Yang? He's, who uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, the Yang. Yeah. That, yeah, that's well, what it's, it's, uh, uh, hey Siri, what is Andrew Yang's uh, background? Oh, yeah, right. They, you're, we're gonna have to listen to your fucking uh, Alexa. He was born in upstate New York in 1975. Huh? Hmm. Uh, if, uh, anyway, uh, Andrew Yang's an American entrepreneur and philanthropist and founder of a venture capital. Uh, well, that just qualifies him right there. A, a venture, for, no, excuse me, venture for America. Uh, he's a 2020 Democratic uh, presidential candidate, and he's worked in startups at an early age. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, he was in the Obama administration, selected him uh, for a champion of change, 2015 ambassador for global entrepreneurship. And, uh, you know, so anyway, uh, he, and well, every he, time we he's for basic universal people. income, which I think is uh, cripples people, but... Sorry about that, Patrick. Every time we have one of these alleged businessmen and entrepreneurs, they put us in the shitter. This yep. guy, uh, this guy's a really smart guy. Uh, I don't care how smart he is. I'm saying running the running a government and running a business are two different mindsets. Uh, I think you ought to look. Yeah, at our it. real our real problem is is we've got one party with no new ideas, and another party with no good ideas. Kevin, what do you think? You've been, you've shut up all night. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Do you want a piece of this pie at all, Kevin? I think Kevin's talking to somebody. Just... Come on, Kevin, get up on this horse with me, brother. He's not muted. He's not muted? He's muted oh, himself. Oh, he's muted himself. He's talking, it feels like he's talking to his wife or yeah. somebody. Yeah. Kevin, I don't know. Well, he hasn't Hello. used the Skype mute. I'm sorry. Oh, there he is. Hi. Yeah. Hi. No, I, We're going to wait for Kevin. Game. I'm sorry. No, but what, what I was going to say I'm, is... I'm listening, but I was watching the hockey game. We, oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. You're, 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 uh, you're uh, what do you Multitasking. call it? Multitasking. Multitasking. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. You can but still do that at his age. <laughs> who's, who's winning the hockey game? Uh, Colorado just went ahead 4-1. to one. R- Really? Oh, okay. All right. In your time zone, it may vary, folks, when you're listening yeah. to this show. Right? Sorry. So anyway, uh, let me see here. What 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 else? Have, if we so we're we're basically what uh, we're talking about here. Oh yeah, uh, J- uh, Jeff wants to say something. Jeff. Yeah, I I cannot believe that any of the gentlemen that are here below sixty five w- would not want to take a Medicare system. Yeah, I can't. We see all it want either. it. No, you everybody want it. wants it. It's just that you don't get it until you're 65. Yeah, but you, and, Phil, Phil, and, Phil, Phil, you're ready to take it without breathing heavy. I have been paying for this. You see, I'm the one that does the payroll every two weeks. I'm the one that makes that deposit to the on the 940 form, 941 form. Uh, so I, I see how much money is being put into Medicare as part of my payroll. And when I do that, I say, I am looking forward to when I get some of that that I'm paying in. So why is it that you, how do you support a candidate who wants to get rid of it? I'm not supporting a candidate that wants to get rid of it. Trump? You're not? Trump Trump said that he wasn't going to touch Medicare. What do you mean? And I think that that's just a Democratic talking point. His budget cuts they, all they've accused him, out of They've accused him of killing babies in Mexico. They, you know, they're going to they're gonna accuse... They, they've been say, the Democrats have been saying that the Republicans are going to get rid of Medicare and Social Security for the last 50 years. It has never come to fruition, and it never will. It never will. Wait, Charlie was trying to say something. Charlie? <laughs> The Democrats didn't say that. Trump said that. He presented his 2020 budget that cut almost a trillion, $840 billion out of Medicare. You gotta, he said he's going to balance the budget, and he's going to have he's to gonna cut expenses. He's going to balance the budget. Phil, have you seen how he's been raping the budget? He's, he's, he's <laughs> going the opposite way of balancing it. Yeah, that's yeah, not, well, that's what, what he's doing think. isn't balancing the budget. I'm sorry. He you know. told all his cabinet positions, you got to cut. You know, so they'll cut, but not everything is going to get cut after it gets cut. In the meantime, the, the, the money that he spent all went to the rich. Yeah, yeah. Is, what, is, what has he done for infrastructure? Two I know it costs me more this year in taxes. Oh, what has he done for me? What about me? <laughs> what has he done you for know? infrastructure? Nothing. Well, what has the Congress uh, brought up to him for infrastructure? Well, Nothing. Because he's too, they're too busy trying to figure out they're what the fuck they're doing. They're too busy trying to fucking impeach him. That's I what wish, too busy. I wish they would because these bridges are falling apart and everything else. I mean, yeah, well, you think the bridges started falling apart when he got elected? No, no they've been falling right. apart for years. Years, but that was one of his. But he the that was one of the planks in his platform. Was he was going to fix all this stuff, and he hasn't done nothing on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, Obama and Bush and every president before him had these bridges. We're talking about that's right. Acceptance. I agree, and that's probably one of the reasons he got elected to do it. But has he done anything? No. That's because he's spending he, a lot of money he, on all he, kinds he, of other crap. But remember, he's not spending money on stuff like that. You know, if that that would probably half change my mind on the guy if he started doing stuff like that. He had two years. See what he is doing. He had, he had two years. He had two years of. Uh, of, of, of let Rob One say what he said. Congress. Uh, you let he, Rob. He did, but Phil, let Rob uh, say what he was saying. Okay. Yeah, he, he, had, he had two years. Two years to do something, and what did he do with it? Those things needed. Uh, he had, uh, he had a two like trillion dollars to the national debt. Look, they, they, they were, so so did Obama put uh, five million. He spent more time trying to. He spent more time trying to undo everything Obama did than he did trying to do good. He promised that he was going to build roads and bridges and fix the infrastructure. Right? He ran on that just the way he ran on everything else that you said he came up with his promises. But that and, he, and he's fulfilled them. 
and he has and to fulfill, he has to fulfill no. them. No, you're, and, you're, you're, you're well, his, his presidency. Uh, un unfortunately for you, his presidency isn't up, and he has another two years to accomplish these things. But, but now he doesn't. The Senate. Look, the Senate requires sixty votes to be able to get certain things through. How many Democrats and, wouldn't have voted for a for a? For an infrastructure, if there was 50 Democrats, like there was uh, during the uh, uh, first uh, the Senate just before this last election, uh, it would have been 50 would have voted against it. They, if he was trying to save children from drowning, they'd vote against it. Was priorities, Phil? His priorities were to a get rid of Obamacare and b give rich give rich people tax breaks. Those would be. The Republicans have been saying they want to get rid of Obamacare ever since Obama enacted it. He gave them the chance to get rid of Obamacare, and they didn't do it. They tried. So what they else is he going to do? Yeah, but you know what? Rob's got a point. If, if he had mixed in some of this infrastructure stuff, maybe he would have gotten some Democrats right. on his side. I doubt and then maybe he could have gotten some of his other stuff it. done. But if you, get it. To, if you work one way the or another Democrats. and quit calling the Democrats a piece of shit and, they are. and, 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 and working, them, working them against him, if he came you know, up, okay, let's fix had... the Brooklyn Bridge. Let's fix this turnpike. Let's fix this, you know, this, these roads on this on the East Coast that are falling apart, and some of the ones that are going across country. And then, you know, get the Democrats to say, "Hey, this guy's going to do oh. something." Maybe they would work with him. Maybe, but he keeps people... telling them they're a piece of shit, and then working on stuff that just, just goes against him. Well, then who, he's, he's who not going to get for... any help from across how, the how, aisle. How strongly That's constantly, did he carry you know, just piss it on him. How strongly did he carry New York? Why should his he give New York state, anything? His home state. Yeah, his state, carry. that state, California. Why should he give him anything? Because when you're president of the because United States, American. you're president of the United States, uh, they're, not they're the social. president. President of whole fucking country. Work both not ways. Just the best state. Wait a minute. Let Charlie. Let, Char let Charlie say what he's saying. Charlie. Charlie. Phil, you just gave the best argument for why we should break this country up. It's a smaller, independent. Political entities. You just right. you just nailed my position. Thank you. Well, very, that's we, right. All we need is the Stalags, and uh, and, and we ought to take the Phil and send him to Mexico. Yeah, good scuba diving there. <laughs> the only you know, construction I project he's worked on is that damn Phil, wall. Phil, well, I don't see why you ready. why you I don't see why you disagree with me. Why would you want a bunch of left-wing wackos like me and other lefties in your damn country? Well, and why would we want to stay? Because what you guys are trying to do is you're trying to get take over the Senate. And the way you're trying to do that is to turn Texas blue and to bring Puerto Rico in as a, as a state so you can get a few more Democratic senators. Uh, you, you, got, know, you, hey, you, got, you think you that we're blind? You've got some Republicans in Illinois, in downstate Illinois, that want to uh, withdraw from Cook County. I don't blame them. You well, see, hey, know what that, Chicago that, that is. Cook County then would be another state. Look, you know, we're playing, you know, it's all politics, brother. It's not government, what we're talking about. It's politics. No, and it's politics is, all right, fine. Politics is a is a street fight. Hey. Now, quit whining, start punching. Alex wants to say something. No, I don't want to say. I anything. gotta go. I gotta go to the bathroom, but then I gotta come back and do a show. Okay, bye. Hey, Alex, I like what you were doing with uh, putting up the individual uh, mm -hmm. one on. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, when they talk, it it took full screen. That was pretty cool. Yeah. The only thing is, is that Jack, because he was uh, calling by oh, phone. Oh. We didn't yeah. get a picture, and he kept going to that damn Skype logo, which I hate. So, yeah. <laughs> well, help yeah. him get a new account. Uh, what? Well, it's all you, you just go on. I've got three of them. You know, yeah. maybe I have four of them. I can't remember the password to the other fourth one or something. You know, what have you? Anyway, oh hey, it's time for me to just I I sat back and just let you guys argue and let the picture go back and forth with all you different people. Uh, what I want to do is I want to thank everybody tonight. I want to thank Phil. Uh, I want to thank uh, Scott. You've been very quiet, Scott. Huh? Did, you haven't said anything? <laughs> what? He, he wasn't drinking enough. He, he was a I quiet squeeze. He, 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 he was doing his best impression of Marcel Marceau tonight, who, by the way, is one of the interviews. It's on uh, the 24-7 uh, the, uh, this weekend. 
along with an interview with Gene Shepard. Uh, also, uh, courtesy of uh, Manny uh, Claire is the person's name who sends me all this stuff. Anyway, thank you very much, Charlie. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Rob. Thank you uh, to Tony. Thank you to uh, uh, Patrick. Uh, thank you to me. I'm, I'm there. Uh, and, of course, we had the uh, Skype uh, caller, which was uh, Jack. And, hey, Kevin, good seeing you. Glad you're alive and kicking. And, everybody, uh, why don't you give a big wave goodbye okay and i'll wave back at you too okay there they go ladies and gentlemen let me get rid of them all because that's the only way i'm going to get back in sync again okay let me see here let me uh whoops well i no, that doesn't work okay let me do a fade here there we go okay now i'm in sync because i've completely killed the skype and uh when you kill skype uh it, it's uh, fine Hold on a second. Uh, sign out. I want to sign out? Yeah, I do want... No, no. I, uh, anyway, uh, I just want to go away. Okay, I just want to kill that. The next show coming up, of course, is the intersection with, uh, uh, with, uh, with our good friend... Uh, hold on a second. Uh, 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 well, it's... You know what his name is. Uh, <laughs> Oh, or it's, uh, it, it, uh, I am just, I'm fried. I am just fried. Uh, yes, stay tuned for the next program uh, with Jack Bishop. See, I know him by another name. With Jack Bishop and the intersection. And uh, we'll be off for the weekend and Monday. And then uh, hopefully we'll be back again next, uh, next week on uh, Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye bye, everybody. Mm -hmm. I gotta, gotta do this. Okay, there we go. Mm hmm.